If you're looking for which Minecraft launcher is the best to use, and maybe you don't want to use Mojang's vanilla Minecraft launcher, then rest assured this video is going to show you the top 10 Minecraft launchers to use, why you should use them, and the features they actually have. So let's jump into the video. Number 10, T-Launcher. T-Launcher is a Minecraft launcher that's very popular for being a cracked launcher. This launcher takes spot 10 on this list due to its more controversial nature. With this launcher, you can run different instances of the game. It's a Russian launcher that allows you to install mods very easily with mods built in entirely natively into its mod list. The only downside of this launcher is a lot of its features are allegedly behind a paywall such as the capes and the player accessories and HD skins as well as the faster download speeds which are rumoured to not actually be a thing. Number 9 Titan Launcher This lightweight launcher has a simple interface and it's home to some custom mod packs. This is a popular launcher and it's a portable tool for Windows. This popular in the cracked Minecraft community, which is another reason why this is going to take a lower spot on this list again. Number 8, Void Launcher. Void Launcher serves as a custom mod pack launcher that makes use of multi-tab styled interface systems that offers news about the latest updates from the team working on the software, as well as the ability to access a search menu to explore its available mod packs on its ecosystem or source various servers to play on that are exclusive to the software itself. Not to mention the other tab that allows you to build out your very own mod pack to save for later use. This is a great tool that has useful application for saving time installing mods one by one or individually. This particular launcher has a main focus on mod packs rather than for creating simple instances of the game or customizing its run settings and options. This launcher is a community focused one that has custom mod packs that have a large number of mods on them, so it might require a more powerful machine to actually run some of them. Number 7, SK Launcher. SK Launcher is one that runs on all operating systems, with weekly patches and a whole host of different language settings and levels of support. The launcher has been updated fairly recently and it has very simple settings and allows you to customise the maximum RAM memory that you want to allocate to Minecraft, which is always important. With this launcher you can create custom profiles with the old historical releases of the game, such as the alpha and beta versions or the snapshots alongside official releases. There's also options for enabling full screen every time the game launches for an example. Number 6, AT Launcher. This lightweight launcher is great for playing on mod packs and testing them out on servers. This launcher features a community spotlight section where members share their favourite mod packs which is great to find new packs that you didn't know about or try yet. It's a reliable launcher that's one of the more popular ones in the modern community. It's pretty simple to set up a forge or fabric instance of the game or use a cursed forge pack with this launcher. The only shortcoming of this one is the inability to install classic or snapshot versions of Minecraft. Number 5 FTB App The FTB Launcher, or FTB App as the newer reworked version is called, is the place to download and manage all of the Feed the Beast mod packs from. You can search through the large catalogue of mod packs in the FTB collection to play them here, and you can also download and manage Curse Forge packs through the tool too. This is a nice launcher to discover brand new mod packs on, and the advanced server installer feature in the launcher lets you quickly create and set up a server and also install install any of the mod packs directly onto it, making it easy for people who are not very knowledgeable in manual server setup to actually create one to play with their friends, which is really nice and that's why you guys should try this one out. Number 4, Multi MC. This open source launcher is a little more complex for beginners, but it allows you to make multiple Minecraft instances at once and export the mod packs for use in this software, letting you install any version of Minecraft vanilla with Forge, Fabric and also Light Loader with just a few simple clicks. Multi MC is highly efficient and it's pretty lightweight software and it makes it easy to play online or offline and view your files and screenshots. This is actually an open source launcher so you can tell it's safe just from that because this means that people can actually view its code to make sure it's safe and secure and your Minecraft account isn't getting stolen. So there's also a few other community forks aka community versions of Multi MC which are a little bit edited and have their own features too. Number 3 Technic Launcher. Technic is probably the first custom launcher I originally used and it's home to 
the Technic mod packs from Team Technic. This is a very easy launcher to use and it has a very sleek and clean looking flat style interface, auto optimizing the settings based on your machine's hardware and components. There are a lot of popular packs on this launcher, although many of them are slightly dated now. There are some great packs on the Technic ecosystem like Techit Classic, which everyone knows is my favorite, Vaults, the Yog Box, Attack of the B Team and Techit. Number two, Curseforge Client. Curseforge is regarded as the best launcher by a lot of users, especially for the mod packs in particular as it fits seamlessly directly into their own ecosystem and their website, where the majority of mainstream Minecraft mod packs are actually hosted nowadays. There is a monthly subscription requirement to remove the ads though, although the auto-updating of the mod packs in here is a very useful feature, as well as the ability to choose their past versions. This launcher uses the Overwolf software as its framework, which can be a little bit annoying, but it's a good quality piece of software so that can be overlooked. Number one, GD Launcher. GD Launcher takes the top spot as it's the main launcher I always use. This open source software supports Microsoft accounts and it has Forge compatible mod packs. It's very easy to set up your own instance in this pack and install the latest version of Minecraft Vanilla. The snapshot releases or Forge or Fabric Mod Loader and then download any mod directly from Curse Forge straight to your custom instance. I use this to make my own mod packs for those videos because it makes things easier than using Curse Forge for me personally. The interface is very clean with GD Launcher and I just generally like it the most. And that concludes this list for the top 10 Minecraft launchers. If there's any other launchers which I missed off this list and that are really good ones, leave them in the comments section down below and tell me which of these 10 launchers is the best in your opinion and which one you use and why you use it. Give the video a like and make sure to subscribe for the best Minecraft videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.